post-war show of the Society of British Aircraft Constructors, the Universal Freighter shows the shape of cargo fleets to come. Big enough to hold a double-decker bus, she's one of 58 aircraft exhibited. It is a sign of the times that most new types are military. A life-saving device is built into this meteor research plane, each of whose sapphire jets is as powerful as four Super Fortress engines. Faster than sound fighters include the Vickers 535 and the single jet Hawker 1081. Protection at sea is promised in every line of the Seahawk. What interests Cat's Eyes Cunningham? It's radar in the Venom Night Fighter. The Sea Fury long range fighter bomber would be useful in Korea. For contrast, here's the Viscount Turbojet Airliner and the mighty Brabus. But the world came to see the planes take the air. The Ferry 17 is an anti-sub plane with two engines in one. John Derry in the Venom shows how to roll at speed. And here's the Canberra, the RAF's first twin jet bomber, now in large-scale production for Bomber Command. For the first time at an SBAC show, a Lincoln tanker and a Meteor fighter show how aerial refueling is carried out. Through the hose, kerosene is sucked in at 300 gallons a minute. It calls for perfect judgment. Automatic valves seal both ends when the fighter drops speed to uncouple. Speed is useless without maneuverability, and the Battle of Britain pilot Surikovsky in a Sapphire Meteor shows that not only British jets, but also British airframe designers are years ahead of foreign competitors. Dangerous days demand mastery of the art of war if we are to develop in security the craft of peace.